Good day. Welcome to another video from me, Robert, on Robert's Retro Gaming. Uh, so today I thought I would explore the Minecraft multiplayer server that uh, Dell, Dellboy3000, has kindly set up and paid for. So I have connected to it. Um, this is not my first connection. I've actually built a bit of a base and uh, I had a little bit of a run around the world when Dell was on yesterday and he showed me he showed me around some of the things he's been building. Very cool, very interesting. I'm not really planning to explore those things, although if you look off in that direction you can see sort of a, a spire, I guess. I don't know if spire is quite the right word, but uh, that is a, one of Dell's houses, bases. He's got several scattered around. Uh, oh look, a giant spruce tree up on top of that hill. Whatever could that mean? Who knows? I don't. Well, I do, actually. So, um, there's some very interesting biomes been generated here in this world. Uh, off in that direction there is a ice spires, I think is what it's called quite cool to look at. Bunch of uh, spruce forest over here. Um, sort of a hilly thing going on in this area. There is, I haven't seen a desert one yet. There's a bit of swamp also off in that direction. I think on the other side of the ice spires. And uh, so there we are. The other thing I've been thinking about is what would make a neat or interesting joint project for the players on a multiplayer server like this. And um, I've got some thoughts, probably, well, almost certainly some kind of shared construct or shared goal, something you're building as a group. And uh, I think that would be fun and interesting to see people's different takes on it. What have we here? Huh, how very peculiar. Looks like somebody's been ice fishing, perhaps. Hmm. And then one might note that I have salmon in my inventory. Hmm. How strange. So in any case, uh, one of the things that I have never done in Minecraft, and I guess it's not a huge shock that I've never done it, because it's relatively new, is uh, located an ancient city. Now those are deep underground. And uh, hey, what's with that lava up there? I wonder why that just stops. Now I haven't read or seen, oh I see because it's up on a little plateau there it looks like, or maybe maybe it falls into sort of a cave. What is up there? Oh, look at that. Let's go check that. That is the, I'm pretty sure, that is the ruins of uh, a nether portal, which is one of the interesting things that you can find in Minecraft scattered around the, the generated worlds these days. That's pretty cool. Let's go take a look at that. Can I get up there? I only just managed here, uh, playing this morning <clears throat> for a little while, to to accumulate enough iron that I am kitted out in terms of uh, iron and a shield, iron armor, sorry, and uh, a shield and kind of a beat up sword. That'll do me for now. Actually, I think I got that sword from uh, one of Dell's houses. It was sitting in a treasure chest and uh, about two thirds. two-thirds worn, so I thought, well, I'm sure Dell won't miss this, and I'm sure he won't. Okay, so getting up there. I guess maybe I'll just do it with ladders from here on up. Oh, here we are. Okay, so the nether, here we've got netherrack. Uh, that's a, a soil, or a, I think of it as a soil from the nether biome. The other interesting thing about these ruined portals is that there's lava. Oh, what are we here? Oh, this is a massive one. I've never seen one this big. Look at this. Huh. 
So you get iron bars, or, well, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes there's iron bars. The chests usually have interesting things. Obsidian. Flint I don't really care about. I've got no shortage of that. A fire charge is cool. Golden hoe of four. Efficiency for Ooh, golden boots with mending. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a nice one for running around the nether in that uh, when you're wearing golden armor, the what are they called? Piglins? Piglins won't attack you if you have a piece of golden armor on, unless of course you attack them. Now quite often these gates spawn with lava and uh, magma around them, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We've got uh, obsidian here, and that is called weeping, crying obsidian. Those little purpley ones. I'm not sure if those have any other use. Now there's actually enough obsidian here to fairly easily reconstruct a functioning gate. There's like tons here. This is a massive gate. It would be interesting to, to reactivate this whole thing. How much would you need? Quite a bit. Oh, and here comes the snow. A fair bit to reactivate this. So, I don't know if I would go down that road or not. Maybe. Once you have a diamond pickaxe, obsidian isn't, isn't hard to come by. Um, anyway. So, in the interest of running away and continuing to explore the world. Where are my ladders? So oh, they're there. I think I want to recover my ladders though. Because because I might want them. That's kind of the reason. Not kind of. It is the reason. I won't need to revisit that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brilliant. Brilliant. Why don't you just fall. That seems like a good idea. Oh my goodness. Alright, and then from here down I think I can... I guess I didn't really need to come down, did I? Kind of explored. Well, I was in a bit of a, a pit up there. Anyway, the snow is rather pretty. You know what? I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna take a picture here. I might use that as a title card for this for this video. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so anyway, back on the subject of ancient cities. Um, I saw something what was it now? A video I guess it was. That suggested that ancient cities could be found by locating um, sort of a giant mountain biome. I, I don't know what they're called, but a mountain biome maybe is the way to put that. And then locating a valley between two peaks and going down from there. So, oh, are we? I think we're at nighttime or almost. Yeah, okay. I, can't, I have no idea which direction I'm even going anymore. That would be west, I guess, since the, the pink clouds are in that direction and looks darker over there, so this would be north. Obviously, I can check easily enough with the old F3 key, but uh, anyway. So I'm going to, unless there's anyone else playing, which there might be, I'm going to have a little snooze and nobody else is playing. Unless, if there's anyone else playing, when nighttime comes, you can't, you can, you can change your respawn point, but you can't, um, you can't actually sleep the night. Unless everybody sleeps, so. That doesn't really happen. Or I guess it could if everyone sort of agreed when night came that you were going to sleep, but, you know, you want to hunt monsters or you're digging underground and you don't care if it's night or if you've got enough weapons and armor that you don't care if it's night you're just gonna take on all comers I mean I'm in pretty good shape in the armor and weapons department what the oh skeleton oh another village so there seems to be quite a few villages in this world or I don't know if I, I, 
I can't imagine this is any different than any other Minecraft 1.19.2 world, but I think this is the fifth or sixth village that I've come across. So there's quite a few. This is a forest one, which is, uh, I think these ones just spawn in spruce forests. And this is just a plain old house. Why is it so tall? Is there not a... Did I miss something there? Huh. Can you get up there? Is that an actual part of the house? It sure looks like it. That's weird. Oh, stairs here. Alrighty. Cool, cool. Neat. They've certainly added a lot of uh, much more interesting... Aha! Uh -huh. Much more interesting house types. Emeralds. Don't mind if I do. Uh, do I have any sweet berries? I... Pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins. Nice. Who's going to steal your seeds? Hey there, little mini villager child person. Taking some of your possessions. Sorry. Am I going to take your spruce logs? I guess I am. Fern and berries. No, I'll leave all these things alone. Okay. Alright, I hear a cow. This is a little trough, I guess. Ah, a smoker. Useful. I'm not going to steal it. I could, I guess. Villagers don't really use these things. They just use them for professions. Well, in the sense of having villagers with professions, I think I'm just going to leave that alone. Although, I'm not sure what profession uses a smoker. Anyway, they're not that hard to build. Oh, that's nice. Purple tables and a... Uh, why can't I use that? Isn't that a uh, fletching table? That's weird. A stick. Well, I guess I'll take a stick. Always needs sticks. Hello, piggy. What am I missing here? Uh, hello, child. Get out of my way. Jumping on the bed. Well, maybe I'll jump on the bed too. That's fun. Whee! You jump now. Go. Go. Oh, you don't want to play? Ugh. The kid doesn't want to play. He wants to play. Stop. Stop it! The kid just wants to play by himself. I guess that's fine. I'm a stranger after all. Who's this? Oh, armor. Oh, nice. Uh, except that I have all the armor I need and a blast furnace. Another thing that I was kind of looking for. Who are you? What is your profession? Armorer. I guess that makes... <laughs> I guess I could have figured that out. Okay, good, good. We've got a... Oh, wait, no, no, I don't want... I don't want to take that. Good to know it's here, though. There's the village square down below there. With the bell. Pumpkins, okay. I don't really care about... What are you doing under there? Hide and seek, maybe? Pumpkins. Well, I'm in front of this building, or rather, in back of this building, so let's see what's in here. Ooh, a uh, stone cutter. Super useful. Also not that hard to build. And what's over here? Same thing double stone cutter. So there should be some stone masons around. Are you a mason? No, you're not. You're just a boring old villager with no job. Jobless Joe. Jobless Jane. They all look like... I guess there's no way to really tell. I was going to say they all look like males, but they don't really have any gender characteristics, so I guess you can't really say that, can you? You are a Fletcher, and I still can't use your table. Why is that? Anyway, what do you trade? You trade emeralds for stuff. I don't know why you would trade gravel for flint. That doesn't even make sense. You can, you can make your own flint from gravel. Although it takes a bit of persistence if you don't feel like 
digging on. There's so many things in this village. That's, uh, what do you call that, a grinder? Repair and disenchant. Well, anyway, I think of it as a grinding wheel, but I guess it's sort of is. But it does other things. A lot of houses. Another Fletcher spot. Feathers and arrows and flint. I don't know that I really care about any of those things. The only thing I don't have any of is feathers, but murder a few chickens and you get lots of feathers. Well, murder a lot of chickens and you get lots of feathers. More emeralds, yay for me, and a sign. I'll take that, and I'll take the spruce, or uh, pumpkin seed, rather. And I'll just organize your chest a little. I'll take the bread. What the hell? Uh, was I just over here? I think I was. Yes, okay. Hmm, this is a pretty big village. Oh, no, I was here. Okay, 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 okay. Was I over here though? E oh yeah, I'm going back the way I came. Okay, a little, little disoriented here. All right, so go this way, and then was I in here? I think I was. Yes, I was. Okay, that's the extent of the village in this direction, which is but east. So I'm gonna go to the west and see see what I can see. I think there's a little more village back that way. And then we will continue exploring for a little bit longer. We being I, and I guess we in the sense of anybody who happens to watch this, which I hope you are, and I'm happy to have you. I feel like Mr. Rogers. my friends along with me. <laughs> Goofiness aside, I hope that uh, anyone watching is, is getting some enjoyment out of, out of it. Rabbits and chickens. Oh, lots of chickens. And eggs. I don't really care about eggs, although you need them to make. And a cr crevasse? No. Uh, what would you call this? A chasm. There's no shortage of chasms in Minecraft these days, which make for interesting exploring, and uh, they're a good way to find minerals, as they're often exposed so many. Why can't I use fletching tables? Or is that... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's not implemented in Minecraft yet. That would explain it. Yes, I think, I think that is true. They don't actually do anything for players. In which case, all my kvetching about fletching. <laughs> uh, I'm also one of the greatest, uh, the world's greatest comedians. All my kvetching about fletching is pointless and incorrect. Alrighty, do I want to go down there? Not really. Oh, it's almost nighttime again. I think I'll set my spawn point to one of these uh, village beds so that if I get myrtilated, I'll know where I will respawn, as opposed to the bed that I carry with me. And it will respawn sort of randomly, kind of close to, uh, well, I don't know, I think it tends to put you close to the, sort of the spawn in, the general spawn in point for the game, which is, if I am not mistaken, uh, usually within about a 250 200, 250 block radius of the, I was just hoping to get some sticks there, of the radius of the zero, zero, zero world point. Okay, everyone's coming for go to bed. Am I going to have to boot one of you guys out of your bed? Probably. Where was that tall house? There we go. That had a couple beds in it. Oh, but there was a kid there too. Hmm. What about this one? No bed. No bed, uh. There we go. Hey, kid, get out of here. Go sleep on the floor. Here, kid. Okay, 
All right, respawn point set. And now, which direction do I want to go? Hmm. We'll sort of head east, east and east and north. Should I murder some cattle? No, I've got fish. I've got fish to eat. Always good to have a little look around. Is that no? That's just more trees. I'm hoping to find mountains. The hills, where which are near to the world center, as well as where my base is. Shh! Don't tell anybody. Um, I don't believe they're tall enough to qualify as mountains. Oh, what's this? Underwater. Underwater. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, glow squid. Cool. Lots of interesting terrain in the new, the new uh, caves and cliffs version of Minecraft. I think this. I think this latest one is called Caves and Cliffs. Added a lot of vertical verticality to Minecraft as well as much more interesting caves and things and cliffs I guess. As well as ancient cities which is cool and I'd like to see one which I never have. I mean I guess I've seen a little bit of them in a video but some videos, but uh, meh. Want to explore one myself? Foxes, white foxes, which I guess has to do with the biome. There's a lot of winter, a lot of winter frozen biomes going on here so far as well. over at the fortuitous moment. What have we here? Hello, sheep. Do I want to murder you? I don't have any shears. Yeah. Oh, that's because the world hadn't spawned in yet, or generated. I'm used to playing on my own uh, system, which is pretty spanky, but this is on a server. And so, we are waiting for the world to generate. Don't fall off the edge. That doesn't seem like a good plan. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. Hopefully we don't kill the server with the RAM usage. As a virtual machine on a, someone else's system, I think once the RAM, if RAM usage gets exceeded, and I can't even tell allocation. No, that's just in my local game, not the total, not the total system. If RAM usage gets exceeded, uh, I think it's crash time, which is not very graceful, I must say. Not quite sure why it needs to be that way. I don't think it does need to be that way, but that seems to be the what happens with this hosting provider. What have we here? I'm going to say a village, but it looks like a one-off igloo kind of thing. Huh. Oh. A redstone torch. How interesting. Oh, and some carpet, and a bed, and... Huh. Weird. Alrighty. Do I want to make anything right now? Actually, I might make a stone sword to have as backup, and uh, while I'm at it, maybe a shovel. Very interesting. You may wonder, why am I not running? Well, two reasons. The main one is I want to look around. And I want to be able to do that without being jarring for the viewer, trying not to try not to whip the mouse around, which is maybe the habit when you're playing by yourself. 
There's some vertical terrain over there, but it doesn't really look like mountains. And the other reason for not running is that uh, I'm basically trying to preserve my food a bit. I don't have tons. So these frozen rivers, and which this is, I believe, pros and cons. Pros, you can just walk on them, although they make you slide a bit. It's not really that bad. Cons being that if you want to go into the water, say to fish, you need to uh, cut through it, and odds are pretty strong. It will freeze up behind you, and then you'll just drown probably before you can dig your way out so I mean there are ways you saw the fishing holes that uh, some mysterious player had had made in the river next to presumably or at least in the proximity of his base again some unknown mystery player but uh, that facilitates underwater fishing and by fishing I mean murdering fish with my sword a sword hypothetically my sword. What have we here? Cool. Not ice spires. Is this a one-off or is this a iceberg biome? I think probably iceberg biome. Yes. And is this desert? No. Spruce trees. Scattered spruce trees, so not desert. That is a tall iceberg. could make a castle in there. That would be cool. Iceberg castle. I don't know how you plant ice blocks, so that's... You'd have to build in and then use other blocks to... Unless you have a feather... What is it called? Feather touch pickaxe? Maybe that can pick up ice blocks. There's a couple of different types of ice blocks, which you can actually see right here. I can't remember what they're called. These ones that are more blue, they're probably called blue ice. Let's see. Yes, blue. <laughs> Strangely, they're called blue ice and then packed ice. So, there you go. And quite likely to run into polar bears in these iceberg biomes and bear cubs. Polar bears by themselves are, there's one over there, are innocuous unless you hit them, fight them. But when they're with a cub, they'll come after you. So that's something to do. There's a whole bunch of polar bears over here and a whole bunch of icebergs. I don't see any cubs. Oh no, there's one over there. So we'll stay away from that mama bear and cub. And I guess I'll go swimming for freezing water. Not that it matters to to the player. There are you can actually freeze, but not not swimming in the water. Uh, you have to fall into uh, like a snow pack, snow. I don't know. There's a type of snow that you can fall into, and uh, then you'll start to freeze. Okay, polar bears galore. Oh, and guardians. Great. That means there is a. Oh, and a squid. One of the guardians maybe murdered a squid. Can they get me through the ice? So you can barely see this thing here. These are called, I think they're called guardians. Anyway, what this means is that there's a, oh jeez, can you get me? Maybe not through the ice, that's good. They must have murdered a squid, or a squid grounded itself on the ice and died. Oh, god. Okay, so that is a been hexed by mining fatigue. That means I can't dig anything. Um, anyway, what this all means is that I am right very close to an underwater temple under the ice. I'm not going to go down looking for it because if I do that I will almost for sure die. The guardians have these kind of rays that they can shoot at you, which apparently they can't do through the ice. I'm just kind of looking for the 
temple. Here we are. There we are. You can see the top of it. This is actually probably the easiest access one I've ever seen. But, oh, oh, and I just got nailed with a guardian's ray. It's close to the surface and it's under ice, so if you were ever going to want to explore a temple, an underwater temple, this might be a good one to choose because it's relatively easy access. Anyway, I'm going to leave this area so I don't get murdered by guardian fish or whatever. Yeah, I guess they're sort of fish. Try to stay away from the polar bears that have cubs. Hello, polar bear. Hmm, I had set my spawn point so that if I died I would respawn. And, ooh, look, it's a new moon. New moon. Very lovely. With the mining fatigue effect floating all around me. No mountains yet. Hmm. Lots of icebergs. I think I'm going to go... You know what I'm going to do? try to sleep, even though I'm setting my spawn point to something that's about to be no longer anchored to anything. Oh, I can't even dig up my bed. That's great. And by great, I mean that's terrible. How much mining fatigue do I actually have remaining? Two and a half minutes. Ah, oh, my gird. Well, we're at a half an hour here, 32 minutes. I think I'm going to call it there. I will have to wait out my mining fatigue in order to pick up my bit. Thanks very much for watching. You can join in the Mame Meister Discord server, Discord channel, server. I don't know what Discord things are called. Servers, maybe. Channels, I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you go look for Mame Meister on YouTube, if you're interested, you can uh, find one of his live streams. And uh, I think, generally speaking, the Discord information is uh, posted in the chat typically so uh, if you really want to find the discord have at her uh, i would appreciate it if you're watching this and you have some clever idea for uh, for a, a group project in minecraft put it in the comments and um, i think that's about all i have to say thanks very much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time